subset is a set which has elements that are all contained in another specific set. And the key symbols used to denote subsets are these four symbols here. And the key symbols that are used to denote not a subset are these four symbols here. So let's look at some examples of how to use these symbols. We've got three sets here, A, B and C, with some numbers inside. And so we can say that B is a subset of A since every element in B, so 1, 2 and 3, is contained in set A. So in A, we've got one, two, and three as well. So we would write B is a subset of A. This is the way that we would write that. We can't write B is a subset of A like this. This is read as A is a subset of B. So the tail bit of the symbol indicates what set is a subset of what other set. So in this case, B is a subset of A. This would be read as A is a subset of B. So we can't use this to indicate that B is a subset of A. We could, however, write the following. And this is read as B is a subset of A. So the direction or the orientation of the symbols are important in terms of how we read this notation. If we look at the set C, so we've got 3, 4 and 5, and we compare it to set A, then we see that 3 is in set A and it's in set C, 4 is in set A and C, however 5 is in set C, but it's not in set A. And so we say that C is not a subset of A, and that would be written as C is not a subset of A. Similarly, we could write this in the following way. So this would be read as C is not a subset of A. Remember, the orientation of the symbol is important in terms of how we read the statement or the set notation. Now, if we were to have another set, so let's say set D, and this set was the set 2, 1, 4, 3, then we see that every element of D is in A and in fact both of these sets are the same. Set D is just ordered differently but if it was ordered chronologically from smallest to largest then D and A would be exactly the same. So in this case we say that D is a subset of A but we use a line underneath to indicate that both of these sets are equal. So every element of D is in A but both of these sets are exactly the same, they're equal. You could also write this same statement in the following way. So we have that D is a subset of A, and they can both be equal. This is how this is read. Likewise, we could say that A is a subset of D. So this statement is D is a subset of A. We could say that A is a subset of D, because every element in A is in D. So we'd write that as A is a subset of D and they can be equal. Similarly, you could write that A is a subset of D in the following way also. This is read as A is a subset of D. The key distinction between this symbol for subset and this symbol for subset where you've got the line underneath is that if the line is not present, then we have a subset which is not equal Whereas if we have the line present, then we have two sets where one is a subset of the other and they're both equal sets, like we showed in this last example.